So we're gonna put together some corn muffins very quickly, very easy. And in fact, these little corn muffins are gonna make you want to go to Cracker Barrel, but you won't have to because they're gonna be better than Cracker Barrel. These corn muffins are better than Cracker Barrels. They are going to melt in your mouth and you're going to eat several before you stop. The better than Cracker Barrels corn muffins ingredients are as follows. You're going to need three fourths cup of cornmeal. You can choose whether it's yellow or white. You're going to want one and one fourth cup of self rising flour. You're going to need a half cup of sugar and you can certainly cut a little bit back on the sugar, but you won't want to cut back much. You will need three quarters cup of buttermilk, a half cup of melted butter, two large eggs, and then we need some extras. We're gonna want about a fourth cup of chopped green onions, anywhere from a fourth to a half cup, and the same amount of shredded cheddar cheese. Turn you down so you can see everything you need. I have in this container uh, self-rising flour. I have a cup and a fourth of self-rising flour. And uh, that's in there that in includes all the extras like baking powder that we may need. I also need three-fourths cup of cornmeal. So I'm going to sprinkle in three-fourths cup of cornmeal. Got that in. I need a half cup of sugar. And I normally get that all measured out, but I forgot it. So let me do that. All right, this is an eighth cup, so I'm gonna put in our sugar, and we need a half cup, so there's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, and four eighths. All right, we got our half cup in, and we can close up the sugar. So I've already put the flour in, the cornmeal in, and the sugar in. Now, I'm gonna take a whisk and give this a good stir because I want everything to be well mixed before we start adding and working with the liquid ingredients. So let's give all of this a really good stir. You'll see I have my uh, muffins, my muffin tin ready. I like these. These are the silicone muffin pans and everything pops out very easily. But I usually put my muffins in uh, these little liners. So I just put the liners there. They're all set up and ready to go. Now before I start working with the liquid ingredients, I want you to know that these are not going to be your everyday corn muffins because we're going to add a little cheddar to them and we're going to also add a little spring onion. So we're going to kick it up a notch. So I'm going to sit the muffin tins off to the side and bring the liquid ingredients over. Okay, in this container I have buttermilk and I have in a uh, three-fourths cup of buttermilk. I'm going to in, add in a half cup of melted butter. Now, I haven't melted it, but it's pretty soft. So I think I'll uh, put it into a bowl, put it into the uh, microwave, and go ahead and get this melted so that we can add it into the mix. But, you know, we don't want it too hot because you know what happens, it will cook our eggs, and we don't want that to happen. So let's get that done into the microwave. Okay, now our butter's melting, melted, and I'm gonna give it a chance to cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna add in our eggs. So I'm gonna crack on the side. There's one, we need two large eggs. And two. Got those. I'm going to get a fork. Just kind of whip those up. Good mix. Now, 
if you wanted to add some additional honey, you could certainly do that. But we have quite a bit of sugar, so I'm not sure that we're going to need the honey. Okay, now there's our buttermilk and our eggs. And our butter is pretty cool. And I'm going to strain that butter in and keep things moving here. So that everything has a chance to temper. Because we don't want scrambled eggs. And this is a half stick of butter. I mean a whole stick of butter. Which is a half cup. There we go. Give that a good mix. All right. Now, we are going to make a well in the center of our flour mix. Make sure we have another good stir of that flour. I like giving it a good stir, making sure that we don't have any little pockets of baking powder or any of that anywhere. Okay, so in the center, we're going to add our liquid mixture. Okay, I'm going to need a spatula. Get all of that out. Okay, everything is there. All righty. Now we can start to mix this. This is going to come together very quickly. Now, I have the oven heated on 350. I'll run my spatula around just to make sure I have everything incorporated. Don't want to leave anything. Sure, we have everything. Okay, I'm going to sit this for just a second. Now, you know, I told you we were going to do a little something special with this. We're going to add in an eighth of a cup of green onion. I'm going to sprinkle that in. You know, I don't have but a little bit left, so we'll just throw those in as well. Because they're going to be good. That's going to kick them up. And I have about the same amount of cheddar cheese that I have grated. So I'm going to add that in as well. And I'm going to use my spatula and fold these into our mixture. Because we want cheddar cheese and green onion in every bite. Doesn't that look pretty? You see all the colors. It smells good. Now, you know, your self-rising flour already has salt. That's why we didn't have to add any. We don't want this to be too salted. And I actually use salted butter as well. So I know I'll have enough salt for our muffins. Okay. Muffin tins are in place. And I'm going to use our little 
scoop that we had for the green onions, which is that one eighth. There's our oven. It says it's ready. And I'm going to see if this is going to be just the right size. So let's see. That is one. I could always come back and put more in. You know, on average, you put in about three quarters. Put your mixture about three quarters of the way up of your muffin cups and liners so that they won't run over. going to continue with this and then once we have them all filled I'll bring you right back ready to go into the oven. So, 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. 350, 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, 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 are you ready to get those corn muffins out of the oven? Because they smell wonderful. Out of the oven, and I'm gonna take a little pat of butter and just rub gently. across the top. I tested them with a toothpick to make sure that they were done. And you know I'm gonna have to taste one because this is when they're perfect. When they first come out of that oven. Mm -mm -mm. Waste any of this butter. Just a little smidget left. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one because he's little and he looks like he's a little lonesome over here by himself. I'm going to take the wrapper off. Let me sit it down because it is very hot. Wipe my hands off. Okay. Good and clean. Okay. So, we're going to peel this liner back. Mm. Oh my goodness. That was just a corner. It's nice and hot. I'm going to open him up. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Ooh, he just falls apart. I'm going to have to get that little piece of butter and throw him right there in the middle for a second so he can melt in there. Mm, 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 mm. Now, you know what? I'm going to sit down over here at the computer and I am going to eat this muffin.
Now I am working here at the computer and I've got all kinds of good stuff that's going on and I want to uh, just kind of uh, take a moment. I want to try out this muffin. Oh, the butter's in there. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy. This is good. Really good. It's going to be so good with the chili. I'm doing this just a little bit early because when it's time for the game, I don't want to have to stop. typing out your recipe so that when I upload the video I'll have everything right there ready to go and uh, so I'm just going to sit here and do that chili, soup, meal, whatever. Have some. They're delicious. Before we leave our kitchen today, let me say that again that I have enjoyed having you right here in, in our kitchen. But also, please remember each day to light a candle and shine a light, not only for your family, but for those around you. And I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time.